Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to add a script to the main scene of a simple Godot project. So you could see here I am in the 2D workspace and I have a very simple project set up. I have a root node which I have renamed main and we can see here that there are two children of main. A color rectangle which I have named header and a another color rectangle which I have named body and you can see them over here in the workspace. The header is this 100 pixel tall gray header at the top of my project and then I've given the body this kind of white background. And of course if I expand header you will see I have nested underneath header as a child a simple label and that label has black text and I've just put some placeholder text in there for now called placeholder text. And in addition, I've already told my project that I want this scene to be the main scene when I start my game. So let's go ahead and test that. I'm going to click play. And sure enough, when I play my project, I can see, boom, it pops up. I can see the two colored rectangles and the label. So what we're going to do now is actually add a script to this simple project. So to do that, what I can do is actually I want to associate the script with main. So what I'm going to do is select main in the scene tree and then I'm going to click on this little icon right here which if the tool when the tooltip pops up explains attach a new or existing script for the selected node. So I'm going to click on that button and I'm going to see this window attach node script and I'm going to leave all of these defaults and I'm just going to simply click create. Now, because my root node was called main, by default, the Godot engine has given this script the name of main.gd. Now, the .gd extension simply means we're using the Godot scripting language. Importantly, what I want you to recognize is that because this was called main, it's automatically given this script the name main.gd. And if I look down in my file system, panel, I can see that file is located right here. It has the little gear icon. So by default, the Godot engine automatically gives us a little bit of starter code. And the first thing that we want to pay attention to is line 789. And we can see here the Godot engine has included a comment that on line 7 that says, function ready is called when the node enters the scene tree for the first time. So we see this keyword function in red, and then we see the function name, which is underscore ready. And then by default, this function doesn't do anything because it has the keyword pass here. Godot is telling us if we want this function to do something, we actually need to replace the keyword pass with the body of our function or with the code of our function. So if I actually run this, we can see our project executes, but nothing actually happens. So let's change that so that we know that this script main.gd is actually doing something when we start our program or our game for the first time. So I'm going to delete line 9 of the starter code, and I am just simply going to put in print, opening parentheses, print is a keyword, and I'm just going to say hello LTEC 654 and I'm going to do close quotes and I'm going to do closing parentheses. And then I'm going to save this and then I'm going to run my code. Now visually our output looks exactly the same. However, if I come down to the output panel, take a look at what is has been output we, as soon as we started our application it is printing to what they call standard out or the output window. It's saying hello, comma, LTEC 654. In other words, this text that we put right here is being printed out to this window whenever we launch our game. And that is one way to know whether or not your script is actually running the way you think it is.